hey y'all ariel here welcome back to my channel so as you can see i'm having a bit of a bad hair day and i gotta get cute okay so we got a lot to do let's just go ahead and get started okay so i went ahead and washed conditioned my hair off camera i also blow dried it so now i gotta tame my mane okay so i took some serum just to put throughout my hair my hair just soaked it up okay and I, I just don't like when I have to press my hair out because like it's just so much okay but anyways I'm gonna put my hair in four sections and I'm just prepping for when I use my time mold hair straightener for some reason I just feel like my hair did not take good with my blow drying process and usually I do really really good with blow drying my hair and getting it nice and flowy and things but this time I feel like I kind of left too much conditioner in my hair and it kind of weighed my hair down and like, I don't know. But either way it goes, I'm gonna take my Tymo hair straightener to help me get the job done. This is the next best thing towards me like flat ironing my hair. Now I can go in and flat iron my hair now, but it's not gonna be as silky smooth as I want it to be. So I'm just gonna take my Tymo and we're gonna put that throughout the hair this is really really good of a product if you guys feel like you know you don't want to use like a hot comb or anything like that i am natural and look at how straight this gets my hair it's not going to be silky silky silk press straight but it does get the job done to where like that freeziness kind of goes away and i did this throughout the entire head and then we're going to go in with flat ironing i am using some clip-ins today because whenever like i okay i have very full hair but whenever i press my hair out it's like the volume goes away and so i want to add that oomph that voluminous feel back into my hair so we're going to use some clip-ins the fun thing i love about the timeo is that it don't necessarily burn your scalp like of course you're gonna get the heat from the steam and just the product within itself but you can touch the guarding on it and like it's safe to use if you feel like okay well yeah i don't like to use hot tools or i don't want to harm myself even if you have like a teenager or a younger kid put it on a low setting i think it goes up to like 450 degrees i could be wrong it's either 450 or 400 degrees but i always put it on the highest temperature so that my hair can get as straight as possible but it's very very i feel like it's very beginner friendly and it just gets the job done without you having to do too too much Throughout this process, I tried to not touch my edges. Like my edges are so fragile. I don't know if y'all remember, but I told y'all how I actually used some suave and like it took my hair out. So now it's like my hair is kind of flourishing back to how it was, but my edges are still so fragile. Like they are very, very like thin and fine. So I just don't touch them at all. So look at the difference and then now this is with everything kind of pressed out for me and now I can go in and do my flat ironing process. So I got these clippings from Amazing Beauty Hair and as you can see it does mimic my natural hair color. My natural hair is a tad bit darker than the extensions but all in all it's going to work okay so i'm just going to take my hot tools flat iron my favorite flat iron and we're just going to press the hair and make it nice and silky i also use this flat iron to kind of press out my clippings as well i want everything to kind of just flow together
Okay, so now that we have the hair pressed out, I did clip my ends just slightly a little dusting, just so, you know, everything look nice and uniform. And as you can see, like my volume kind of went away. So I want to add it back and I'm going to add my clip-ins towards like the back portion really. So this is before, as you can see. Okay, hang time because period, okay? So this is what the clip-ins look like. I actually installed these clip-ins before as well as their tape-ins. And I really love these because they look so natural. And yeah, we're just going to press, press, press just like that. And I'm going to put this piece towards the back. I sectioned my hair off. And this was super easy. This took me like maybe 25, 30 minutes to do. I didn't need all pieces. I used majority of them except for like the single pieces. So we ended up with some volume in the end. Like I love big hair. It don't matter if I'm rocking my puff. It don't matter if I have a unit on. Like I love full, full, full hair because I have such a round face. And again, these clips were just so easy. All I had to do was just literally just clip it onto my hair, okay? And boom. I did this all throughout the head, really towards the back area. And I kind of left my front free and natural. And then I did cut the ends of the extensions. The extensions were like 20 inches. So I cut off maybe an inch and a half to two inches just to mimic my natural hair length and we curled it and that was pretty much it you guys and do not laugh at my forehead y'all my forehead is so freaking huge and i have like a tan line for me wearing my wig and stuff like uh it's just so much okay but now i feel like i'm gonna start wearing my natural puff out a little bit more and doing like perm rise sets and things like that just to let my hair breathe like i let my hair breathe but like i don't let my hair breathe so Maybe that's because like my hairline has receded a little bit like because that can happen from you wearing wigs and stuff. So be careful. But I always make sure to actually oil my scalp and things like that. I take care of my hair for the most part and I do less manipulation, less heat. I did use a lot of heat today, but I did use a heat protectant after I washed and conditioned my hair as well off camera. Always make sure to use a heat protectant, okay? Because I want my curls to revert back whenever I wash my hair. I do not want to lose my natural curls because they're so pretty. But this hairstyle was very, very pretty. I absolutely love the extensions. It matched really, really good with my hair once everything was nice and curled. And yeah, if you guys are interested in these clip-ins, be sure to check out my description box. There's always the details. There's always a coupon code or something like that in between, okay? Save you some coin, cause period, okay? And as I got towards the top area, I just kind of did like a U shape. And where those duck clips are is the amount of hair that I left out pretty much. So this is like my last piece. And then I went back in with my flat iron to kind of like blend my natural hair into the clip-ins. And I feel like I did pretty decent, okay? Like I said, I am natural. So I didn't want to keep pressing and pressing and pressing my hair. I didn't want to use a hot comb or nothing like that. So this gave kind of like a nice, I just got out of the salon and got a silk press with some curls type of vibe, okay? Even if I wanted to keep this straight, I actually could have, but... I just wanted to do some curls, okay? So boom, that's what it's looking like. And we're just gonna take the flat iron and kind of blend it a little bit more because I don't want it to be too, too obvious. So this is where my natural hair stops and we're gonna go ahead and clip the hair to kind of be that same length as my real hair. Just that little bit right there and gave like a blunt end and then I took my wine curler and I just curled all throughout the hair.
so i was actually recording this all day y'all i kid you not i started at like 10 a.m and i didn't finish recording until like 8 p.m that's how long it takes to record videos and all of the lighting and doing your makeup i did record my makeup portion but the footage were it was just so blurry i was like no i cannot upload this i was so upset because like i used new makeup products but nevertheless i will do a tutorial again if you guys want to see this eyeshadow makeup look i will do it again but i am gonna um try to record this over the makeup portion i'll just have like a different hairstyle or something like that but anyways i'm just taking my duck clips out and combing the curls out um i ended up using my flat iron again a lot of heat y'all and then i switched over to my wine curler i don't think i showed it in this clip but i did just to get a tighter curl because my hair is so soft like my hair does not hold a curl for nothing unless i'm doing like perm rods other than that like i don't know what i'd be doing wrong i put hairspray on my hair and everything and it just flops i hate it okay but anyways i put my outfit on i did my perfume i'm actually wearing my victor and ralph flower bomb this is the orchid kind it smells so good i love it love it love it and yeah this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you amazing beauty hair for sponsoring this video and sending me these clippings and i'll see y'all in my next one Bye, y'all.